Class challenges unlocked. Warlock and Rogue. Warlock. We are up against Razor Gore again. And you remember Razor Gore? Tons and tons of cards. Wait, no, that was Veilstras. Razor Gore is the, the 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 egg, the egg thing that keeps spawning. It's it's Veilstras that has tons and tons of cards with a rogue deck. I'm really interested to see what actually um we're gonna get. The rewards are the Demon Wrath, which is pretty solid. And Dark Iron Skulker, which is really cool. Like a mass backstab. But let's go with the Warlock one first. Oh, I thought it'd be done with the loading screen there. It would have fit really well with the music. No such luck. Razor Gore. The corrupted eggs of our new dragon. Oh, we're starting with the Demon Wrath already. That's not half bad. I wonder if this is gonna be like a very like a hundred percent demon deck? If so, I hope we get Jaraxus and Melganus and stuff. That'd be badass. Now we don't have a mage to easily take out his cards. So we'll see how this goes. Boiter. So far, nothing but demons, which I like, which I definitely like. Oh, yes. <laughs> Warlocks can have some really, really fun decks, like a lot of cool synergy stuff. What next? I guess we could we could demon wrath it, but that won't actually kill the Twilight Whelp though. I'm just gonna kill the eggs, I think. And then this one will probably take out my wolf, which would be sad, but that means we at least have the flame imp left to do good damage. If it doesn't, if it takes out the flame imp, I'm I'm happy with that. More eggs. Yeah, I went on the wolf. Ah, more whelps. Okay, can we no we can't. I wish they didn't have two damage. <laughs> Let's just trade, I guess. And that one is still alive. And we got an imp out. That's exactly what we want. Turns the small imps to take out the eggs. Man, man, can't spam out. Feel like I've run into that one a lot in this wing. There's three damage, which means I can survive this, actually. And I can plus two this, which will also make that one survive. And we got another imp. Do we... Summon... We get a card? Yeah, we'll get a card. Ooh, Demon Heart! Nice. It's definitely Demon Focus, this deck. Which is cool. Which is cool. Rip in peace! But we got an imp from it. Oh, we have a lot of Demon. We can just kill... Nice. And then go in his face a bit. 
I'm waiting for something better for the void guy, but maybe there is nothing better, honestly. But we could just void guy this, and then in the future we can demon hard him. I mean, this is fairly solid. A 6-5. And then we can turn him into an 11-10. Not bad. Depends entirely on uh, what cards he has coming out now. And as your Drake. Mistress of Pain. That is a great call for a plus, I think. Uh, this is looking good. I'm gonna get tons of uh, damage back. Now, as long as this doesn't die. If that dies, it's, it kinda sucks. Originally, the thing is what you do with buff cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> Screw you. Well, I still have one turn where I can use it, at least. So, <laughs> as I was gonna say, the rules with buff cards, and I pretty much learned this lesson right now, uh, and I just ignored it and I have to pay the price, is that you don't buff them until you can actually attack immediately. Because otherwise you buff it and then they get killed before you even get to use it. Which obviously is not great. My seal for Argon. <laughs> Void Caller, nice. Needs to be from my hand though. Rip, Succubus. We had a good time. Sure, why not? Why do you Since this one has taunt, I think I'm fairly solid putting a demon thing on this one. It's gonna kill it, but I don't mind. We're gonna get that one out, and then hopefully it won't die until we actually have a demon in our hand. Ah, a taunt? A frost wolf grunt? That feels like a weird thing for him to have. Oh, yes! Yes! This is gonna be oh! This is gonna be so cool. Ha ha ha! Volcanus. He's eternal, all right. <laughs> See, immune. Oh, that was exactly what I was hoping for. Hopefully he doesn't have another corruption. He's used one already. He's only used one, right? Yeah, he's only used one. No, leave my Melganis alone! No! You're the horriblest person, Razor Gore. It's fine. It's still fine. Uh, that would have been better to use this like, earlier, so I could have had a double thing going, but whatever. I'll still get value from it next turn. Not my imp! Uh. Well... Sounds like it's time for a demon wrath. And a floating watcher. And now we do this, because then this gets buffed. And then... Attack to the face. Now he has to kill my thing. Which he probably will. He'll need some sort of buff, though. Oh no, he has, he has armor. He has more armor. 
And a taunt, okay. But no damage yet, though, so it's still alive. Oh, I like this. Ah, oh, they get so strong. It's real nice. Oh my god, I can void terror at the two of them. But he's probably, you know he's probably sitting on a thing, you know? I kind of want to do it anyway, though. Wouldn't it be cool? It'd be cool, though. It would be cool, but I can't... I mean, it's a risk. You know as well as I do that it's a risk. It's... It, honestly, it's an unnecessary risk. But it's cool. <laughs> it's really cool. And cool always trumps smart. And that's, <laughs> this is, like, gonna get instantly killed now. Or just like out. Yes! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, I knew it. I don't mind. I don't care, though. It's still badass. Because I think it's too late. I, I get him anyway. That's, that's amazing. Oh my god, Lord Jaraxxus! Ah, oh, I don't get to play him, though. little bit of BM and to the face nice that was fun that's a cool demon lock deck that's not bad at all hey demon wrath that's pretty solid and honestly demon lock seems like a fun way of playing it right now so that's not bad at all let's give rogue a go and we're back while I recorded and finished the rogue thing, the video crashed, so that's lost forever. But it's all good, we can do it again, and this time I know what I'm in for, so hopefully it'll, it'll be good. Yeah, it's a pretty cool fight. Um, it's... I, well, I, I'm not gonna spoil it, you, you, you'll get to see it. It's not, it's, it's pretty cool. I liked how um, you made, they made use of, of the insane card draw mechanic. Especially with uh, Rogue, um, the main problem we're going to deal with in this is the lack of minions. We have very, very few minions for this, which is why Gang Up is going to end up being quite useful. Um, Sap is not so useful right now. Neither is Sinister Strike, really. We need to get our minions. And the main thing to remember is that he has natural eyes still. It's gonna be a lot of burning. Unless we're... Jesus, don't... Give me these shitty cards. I want something I can play. Come on, minion, min Nope, no minion. That one is not something we wanna gang up at all. There we go, the Dark Iron Skulker. This is the class card we'll get for finishing this, and it's also going to be kind of what we want to use. Of course, it's a 5 mana cost, so we can't really use it yet. Um, okay, we're going to have to start spending some cards, and uh, believe me, this is going to seem like a waste of some of these spells, <laughs> but it'll be worth it in the end, because we really don't want to start burning cards. So we are gonna end up doing like a sap, free sap, and then eviscerate to his face. So that we're down to a little bit more manageable card hand size and did a nice chunk of damage to his face. Sapping that flame imp is particularly nice because every time he plays it again, and see there we got plenty of plebs. He'll take another three damage to his face. So do we get another sap? We could use another sap. No sap. Okay. Still no sap. Um, we can then probably weapon a bit. Just to take him out. Here we go. And on his face next time. His face! In your face, red dragon! In your dragony face! Come on, go get some cool cards. No cool cards, but we're already starting to burn this cool stuff. Alright, that one we need to deal with. 
You look at all these preps. Right, how do we want to deal with this? Oh my god, we could gang up this. That would actually be pretty solid. Yeah, let's 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 prep prep gang up this guy. Couple of those in my deck, not half bad. And I guess we can backstab and attack face. I kind of don't want to attack face though. But I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to take the damage anyway. Unless we assassinate. Is it worth placing assassinate on this one? I'm not sure about that one. Maybe just another gang up. Screw it. Let's prep assassinate. Why not? Uh, first we... Um, Assassinate, and then we can... Oh, do we want a deadly poison immediately? No, we don't. What we want to do is we want to do this. And then next turn, we'll deadly poison that weapon again to get some good damage. He's down to 17 already. And he's gonna burn. He's gonna burn them cards. Burn it. Burn. 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 Burn yourself. You're burning yourself. Banish. Well, I mean, it's, it's very expensive sap if we're gonna do this this time, and we're not. Actually, well, I mean, it's not it's not horrible. Well, we were gonna deadly poison at least. And I guess we can just backstab it. And Sinister Strike. And let's get out our Goblin Sapper, which is now a 6-4! Because of his massive, massive hand. This is good, and you're gonna keep burning those cards. Burn those cards! Burn them! Burn them all! No, please, no four damage. Oh, three. Okay. And, oh, yeah. Waste your naturalize. I don't mind. It's your own minion I'm doing this with. It's no big deal. You wanna see something? Okay, this. Oh, you have no idea what you got yourself into. Okay, we could either Dark Ground Skulk, which will kill them all, but it's way more fun to prep Vanish, put them all back in his hand, which is going to burn one of them, I think, and then every card is going to get burned, burned, burned to the ground, and we get another Sapper out, and another in his face. This, okay, this round is going way better than the last one, and the last one, I ended up, oh, look at them cards being burnt! Okay, that did damage, to be fair. And it's, yeah, play those hymns, man. Play those hymns. Last round I played, I got him, Edwin Van Cleef out really early. And I got tons of spells. It's like, yes! He was like a 14-14. And then he just naturalized it. That didn't feel good. Guys, that felt really bad. I felt silly. No one wants to feel silly on the internet. No one wants to feel silly. But it's the curse we bear when we forget what cards they have. I mean, I was all into the naturalized thing before. Remember, I was so happy because I put naturalized in my own deck when I beat him in the non-class challenge. But no. All right. Let's... We're out of pre uh, preps here. So, we're going to have to... Sinister Strike. I mean, we could just eviscerate to win. But I want to do something cool. So... Why are you three, man? I wish you were a little bit less than three. So I want to buff him. And then gang up him. And I can't afford that. Just yet. So we're gonna just Van Cleef him out. He'll only be a 6-6. Six, six. That's fine. Burn! Burn your cards! Burn them! Burn! Yeah, see, immediate naturalize. I think he's sort of like, put into his AI. Oh, there's the prep. Okay. And another prep. And there's his Clockwork Giant. 
And an imp. But it's fine, we have vanish, remember? Oh no, the sap would have been perfect there. Okay, it's fine. So, um, prep vanish. Maybe spend the back step first. Or just assassinate, actually. And then gets out the Skulker, which now obviously doesn't actually do his battle cry. But it's fine. You're dead any second. I probably shouldn't toy with him. We've been we've been here before. We know what happens. Molten Giant. And gang ups on the Molten Giant. Okay. I guess. Yeah, but so is he, almost. What do we do? Do we vanish it? No, we don't quite vanish it yet. Let's, um... What works Three... Can we... Yeah, we can. Okay, come on, Veilstress. I'm out of cards. That's my sap. Oh, fatigue! I'm into fatigue now. Soon, so will he. I don't. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you, because you can't deal with my dudes. Throw out all your cards if you want. Cast all your burning adrenaline. It's not enough. It's not enough, my friend. Just in peace. Fatigue. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to stop myself from getting fatigue. <laughs> I mean, not that it's going to happen anyway. But this is what we can do. And then we're going to vanish all the stuff. After we backstab it a little bit. Just for fun. Another gang up. Vanish. Come on, man. Burn your stuff. Burn them! Who's getting fatigued now? You are the one who's getting fatigued! This looks dangerous, doesn't it? No. We're fine. You know why we're fine? Fatigue. <laughs> Oh, you are dead, my friend. You are dead. That was fun. Class challenges are fun. They're the best parts. Right, so, yeah, Dark Iron Skulker was the card we got. So we're done with these, uh, which means there's only Paladin left. Unless I've forgotten a class. No, there's only Paladin left, I think, yeah. Yeah. Just like in Xramas, Paladin was also the last one. We're gonna get Paladin for the for the last one again. And he will be after we've taken out the dudes in the hidden laboratory. Look at these rewards. They look real good. Real strong as well, man. I'm looking forward to playing with... The fire alone looks so fun. Look at that. That's just amazing. That's going to be so fun to play with. Anyway. That's coming up soon. Same time, same channel and all that. Black River Mountain's definitely so far been a worthy follow-up, and I say this wing has been the best one. Black Wing Lair Wing. I'm hoping for good stuff from the Hidden Laboratory. See you then.